The Owen James Report is brought to you by Burita, making money work for you. I'm sure you've seen many commercials about financial services and investment opportunities. The smiles, the nice business suits, the charts, the beautiful scenes, and of course, children. Cut! But real financial management means more than selling you a product or service. It's about protecting your money, your life, your future. It's about integrity. With over three decades of proven excellence, you should look no further than Burita. Making money work for you. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Caribbean Airlines says despite triggering 40% flight interruptions, Hurricane Sandy has had minimal impact on the airline's coffers as the airline is leveraging its diversified fleet to accommodate extra flights if necessary. That's the word from Kingston-based general manager of Caribbean Airlines, Clive Forbes, in an interview with the OJR this afternoon. We, we have over 16 aircraft in our fleet, um, 737. So what we do, if the needs arise, based on, based on the, the amount of passengers that is dislocated, based on the, the, the load factor that we have on the, on the current flights, say on a Wednesday or Thursday, we will look system-wide to see what we call, put on what we call extra section, meaning we'll fly one of those. We just do, we re, the, our, our network management team will then do the necessary adjustment to the routing. Forbes says flights to and from North America will be restored as soon as New York's JFK International Airport reopens. Telecom's Lime today held a unified communications forum essentially to woo the government into buying into its technology to improve efficiency and speed up the public sector transformation process. Here's Lime's managing director, Garfield Sinclair. The hosted unified communication approach can go even further to assist how government companies, how government completes its various back-end processes like those routine end-of-month tasks that we all have to engage in in order to provide our various reports to the various agencies of government. Our solutions are designed simply to make government run much better. Speaking at the same forum, Technology Minister Philip Paulwell was emphatic that the current administration will be achieving a virtually paperless communication system, making it more attractive and efficient for everyone to do business with government. You know, one of the things that I've seen from this competition in telecommunications is that the consumers now are pursued, they are lured they see a very attractive and sexy marketing. The government has to do similarly with our clients as we move forward. News on the market now and falls by Telecom's Lime as well as Scotiabank triggered moderate losses in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index declined by almost 132 points or a tenth of 1%. 23 stocks traded, with 8 advancing, 12 declining, and 3 holding firm. The winners included Caribbean Cement, Couriers, Volume Leader DNG, Kingston Wharves, NCB, and Scotia Investments. The losers included General Accident, Grace Kennedy, JMMB, Jamaica Broilers, Lasco Distributors, Lime, Scotia Group, and Supreme Ventures. The Jamaican dollar weakened against the three regularly traded foreign currencies today. Here are today's foreign exchange numbers. The benchmark American dollar strengthened by six cents Jamaican, closing at an average selling rate of $91.05, whilst the Canadian dollar jumped by 32 cents Jamaican, closing at $91.01. Sterling advanced by 81 cents Jamaican to close at $146.79. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Burita, making money work for you.